Today I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Apple AirTags, starting with the initial setup process and then going into some of the features of the AirTags itself. We're going to dive into some tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to lead this video as an AirTag expert. The AirTag retails at $29 for one and $99 for four. If you order online, you can get personal engraving. The AirTag leather keyring retails for $35 and has multiple colors. This is the Saddle Brown. They've also got California Poppy, Golden Brown, Midnight, and Forest Green. On the front of the device, or on the front of the box here, we have a picture of the AirTag. And then on the back, there's a pill tab right here with the green arrow that lets us open up the box. So we'll go ahead and rip that off and then open up the box. And inside, we've got AirTag some instructions and the AirTag itself right here in the middle. We'll go ahead and pull that out. And the setup process for this is fairly simple. All you have to do is just bring the AirTag close to your device, your iPhone. You do need a, an Apple device for this to work um, and it should pop up on the Apple device. So let's go ahead and do that. So important notes to take, you want to be updated to the latest iOS or iPad OS software. You'll need to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. Here's how you can update to the latest software on your iPhone. You'll want to head into settings, open up settings, and then scroll down to where it says general right here. And then inside of general is the software update button. You tap on that and if there's an update available, it will pop up and you can install it. Right now I'm on iOS 16.3.1, iOS is up to date. So if you see this screen, then you're good to go to set up your AirTag. You're on the latest software and it should be fairly simple to set up. If you do not see this screen and it has the software update available, then you'll want to make sure you install that update prior to you setting up your AirTag. Another cool feature that you'll need to make sure that is turned on is Bluetooth in order for your AirTag to work. In order to get to the Bluetooth settings, you go to the settings and then right here near the top, it says Bluetooth. And you'll want to make sure that this is turned on. So this iPhone is discoverable. And while that is turned on, you can actually connect to your AirTag properly. So you want to make sure you're on the latest software and you want to make sure Bluetooth is turned on. You can also make sure Bluetooth is turned on through the control center by swiping down from the top right. And this icon right here is blue, which means that the Bluetooth is turned on. You can tap it once and that will turn Bluetooth off. And as we can see, some devices will not work if Bluetooth is turned off. So we're gonna turn Bluetooth back on just like that. Bluetooth connections enabled. So that's an easier way. If you don't wanna have to dive into settings, you can come in here and scroll just from the top of the edge to the middle here of your phone and control center will pop down and make sure this Bluetooth icon right here is blue and that means it's turned on. You can press and hold and have more settings here from your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and then you can press and hold again and get specific Bluetooth connections. Um, so you don't have to go into super details here to get into your Bluetooth settings, but we can press this Bluetooth settings button and it will take us further into it. The main thing we want to know is that Bluetooth is turned on. That way our AirTag can properly pair to our Find My app. So that's how you make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and that's how you make sure that you're on the latest software version for your AirTag to properly work. And then you can go ahead and open up your AirTag here. So let's go ahead and pull the tab. And just pull it right out here. And that activates it, it beeps there. And then you put it close to your Apple device and just like that, AirTag. The simple setup process, just putting it close to your Apple device and it automatically showing up and appearing. It rotates there. And then all we have to do is just hit the connect button. And then it's gonna ask us to name this AirTag. So where's it going? We can say it can go on a backpack, it can go on a bike, it can go on a camera, a handbag, headphones, jacket, keys, luggage, umbrella, wallet, or if you want, you can enter a custom name for this AirTag and name it whatever you want. We can scroll up though and say, uh, let's go ahead and put it on the keys. Here we have the leather key ring for the Apple AirTag. And this is a neat accessory that lets you keep track of your keys. All you have to do is just attach the leather key ring to your keychain, And then from there, you can pop in your AirTag. So you can open up the little buckle there and slide in the AirTag. And it goes in just like that. We can discard the paper. 
And once it's snug in there, we can attach it again, uh, just like that. And now we've successfully installed the air tag onto the leather key ring, which is attached to my keys. That way it can always track where my keys are. And then if I need to, I can play a sound to identify where in the house my keys are. Um, and I can always put it in lost mode to detect if I've left them somewhere um, to help me find them. So just like that, I've been able to install the leather key ring. It's nice material here. Looks like, um, you know, it's pretty strong and uh, lasts a long time. So we've got a nice leather key ring and it holds the air tag really nicely. And it's easy to pop in and pop out. You just unbuckle it and you can take out the air tag if you want to place it somewhere else. But for now, we'll keep it in the key ring here and we'll keep it buckled up. Um, and that way I can keep track of all my keys wherever they are um, and play a sound to locate them when needed. Today's sponsor is the Kony Audio Bullets, the all new memory phone earphone tips for the Apple AirPods. The Dakoni Bullets will improve the comfort of wearing your AirPods while also increasing sound isolation for the best listening experience. Conforming to the unique shape of your ear, the ear tips give a comfortable, snug fit that will stay firm in your ear throughout your daily activities. The plastic mounting ring also makes your ear tips incredibly simple to snap on and off, so the bullets are easily replaceable as needed. If you need visual instructions, your ear tips will come with a QR code link to an instruction video on how to properly place the bullets on your AirPods. In addition, bullets also come in a wide variety of sizes, ranging from small to extra large, so you can find the perfect fit that works best for you. The bullets are even conveniently color-coded by size, making them quickly distinguishable. If you ever need to clean the air tips, all you'll need is a bit of soap and water. Once your bullets are fully cleaned and dried, you'll be good to go. Incredibly durable, the bullets also won't flake off from repeated use and cleaning, so you'll get long-term use from just one pair. Convenient and perfectly designed for your needs, the Dakoni Audio Bullets are a must-have accessory to go with your Apple AirPods. You can order them today using the link below. Enjoy! So it does appear that your AirTag is linked to your Apple ID. So AirTag is intended solely to track items that belong to you. Using AirTag to track people without their consent is a crime in many regions around the world. AirTag is designed to be detected by victims and enable law enforcement to request identifying information about the owner. So it provides that message and you'll have to hit agree in order to sync this AirTag to your Apple ID. So we'll go ahead and do that. And just like that, it shows the location of the current AirTag. I've got it covered up for security and privacy reasons, but precision finding when AirTag is nearby, an arrow will point to its precise location. You can play a sound, find your AirTag by playing a sound from your phone and notify when left behind. Receive a notification whenever you leave your AirTag behind. So we can open up the Find My app, which is where all of your AirTags are uh, you know, stored, where you can view all of them. And we can check out the features in the Find My app. So let's go ahead and do that view. All right, so it pulls up at the top here a map of where your, your AirTags are. And we can see we've got two items, Justin's keys and Justin's luggage. Inside of the Find My application on your iPhone is where all your items, the air tags, will be displayed. Let's go ahead and open it up and check out all of the settings. When you open the Find My app, it displays a map of your current air tags under the items section. So you'll click on that third tab there, and then you have all of the air tags. We've got Justin's keys and Justin's luggage. We can go ahead and tap on the luggage and all of the details will pop up right here. It'll show a map of where that item is located, so where the air tag is currently at. And then you can scroll up and um, you've got all of these different options here to locate that item. If we take a look at Justin's keys, the AirTag is currently with us and you have an option to play a sound. If I don't know where my keys are and I'm in a rush and I need to find them and I've looked everywhere, I can open up the Find My App, go to Justin's keys under the item section and then press this lovely button right here, play a sound. And then I can search around and listen to that sound and you can hear it and the closer I get to it, 
then I found my keys and my keys are right there. So just like that, by pressing the play sound button, it plays the sound of where your keys are because the AirTag's connected to your keys and you can walk around, listen to that sound and identify where it's coming from and then find that object. So here, I'll give that a demo one more time. We'll just sit play sound. And then the AirTag plays a sound for about five or 10 seconds there, just like that. So that's a really neat feature and really helpful for when you wanna find your keys and you need help finding them and you've looked everywhere and you just need to hear some audio. Uh, to, maybe it's under the couch or under the desk and you can't really find it without hearing from where the direction is coming from. Another really cool feature that's built into the AirTags is the precision finding. You can press this find button when the AirTag is nearby and it will help you and guide you to where the AirTag is. So now it's saying it's four feet away. We can move around and get some uh, sense of direction here. It starts pointing. So to the left here, five feet away, ahead, four feet away, nearby, three feet away. I'm getting super close to it. Super close, super, super, super duper close. and I found my AirTag right here. So the further away you are from it, uh, the harder this will be to find it. But if we walk away here, uh, you know, it gives us seven feet away, eight feet away, nine feet away. It's behind us. We turn around and it just tells us exactly which direction to head. If I head the wrong direction, it will not, uh, you know, turn green. It will not let us know that it's nearby. But here I am. Once I'm heading the right direction, six feet ahead way two feet it starts vibrating here and buzzing here the closer i get to it and it's right on the desk here so i found the air tag and it's here and it's let me know that i found it just like that so you can get the precision finding uh just by pressing the find button on the item and it's really helpful they even have the little sound icon here to get some noise so it's beeping again So it just beeps and you can find it exactly where it's at with this precision editing. So super cool feature. Highly recommend you use the find nearby when the AirTag is in the same room as you and you can't quite find it. All you have to do is just hit that find nearby button and it will guide you to where it is exactly. Super cool. If the item is not nearby, a directions section will pop up here. So I can press the directions button and get driving or walking directions straight to the item just from within the Find My app. But if it is within the same room, of course, we'll have that find section where you can find the AirTag just by using the precision walking around that we just demoed. But if the AirTag is not in the same room and it's further distance away, then you get a directions option and you can use you know, Google Maps or Apple Maps to find exactly where that, that AirTag is um, just by tapping on the directions icon and then pulling up a map. Next up inside the Find My app when managing your AirTags is notifications. You can have this feature called Notify When Found. When you turn that on, it'll send you a notification when the location of the AirTag has been pinged. So the way that AirTags work is they communicate to all Apple iPhones and iPads that are around and then send the location to the nearest one. And then that sends it back up to Apple servers and then sends it to you. So if you want to know when your AirTag has been located, if you've lost a device or an item that an AirTag has been connected to, you can turn that on and as soon as it receives a ping, it will let you know where that item is. And just like that, it sent me a notification, Justin's luggage. This AirTag was seen nearby. So an Apple device located that AirTag and it sent me a notification letting me know that um, it's seen nearby and I can tap on it and find exactly where it's at just like that. So it's super cool when you have that feature notify when found, it lets you know immediately when that location, when that item has been found um, and you can find it immediately. Notify when left behind allows you to get a notification when you leave an item with an AirTag 
at a location without bringing it with you. So it's always communicating to your iPhone and if it notices that your iPhone has been left without the AirTag, it'll ping you and let you know, hey, you have left Justin's luggage or Justin's keys behind at this location because it's currently not with your iPhone. So it's always monitoring whether that AirTag is connected to your iPhone and your Apple Watch and if all three of those devices are nearby. And if they're not, it will ping you, it'll let you know, hey, you left this item behind at the locker or you left this item in the car or you left this item at the house because it's no longer with your device so it's really cool how the continuity of all these devices work together and it helps you you know remember hey I left my phone here or I left my airpods there or left uh, you know my keys here just based off the connection that it has between your iPhone and the air tag itself now another neat feature of this is you can say notify me except at so you don't want to get notified when you leave Leave your AirTag at home because it's safe at home. So you can add in your home addresses and it will automatically not notify you when uh, you leave that item at an, a location that you've added on. And all you have to do is just hit that new location button to type in a new address um, and it will start to learn your patterns. It'll ping you if you leave it at a new address. Um, and it's really smart and it can be helpful when tracking all of your items and you want to make sure that you don't forget uh, you know, your very important items that you have your air tags connected to. If you ever lose your item that has the AirTag connected to it, you can enable lost mode. So you just open up your Find My app and you tap on the AirTag itself and you scroll down to lost mode and press the enable button. And what this does is a couple of things. The first is it will notify when found. So just like we saw earlier, it will send you a notification when another iPhone or Apple device has picked up that AirTag and it will have the current location of it with you. The second thing it will do is find my lock. So the AirTag is paired with your Apple ID and it will be permanently paired to your Apple ID. No one else will be able to activate that AirTag. If they found your item and took the AirTag off, they will not be able to use it as their own AirTag because lost mode enables find my lock. So this item is linked to your Apple ID so no one else can pair to it. And then the last thing you can do is leave a message. So leave a phone number or email for the finder of your item to contact you. And this is really neat um, because it allows you, um, you know, that hope if someone scans that air tag that they'll be able to get in touch with you. So that's lost mode. And the sooner you enable this when you've lost your item that has the air tag connected to it, the better because it can start actively tracking and figuring out where that item is. And then of course you have that message on the air tag. So when someone does find it, they're able to activate the, the NFC and toggle and figure out who to call to get the item back to you. So that's lost mode and I'll demo it to you right now. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And then it asks you to enter a phone number, enter a phone number in case someone finds your item and wants to contact you. We're gonna say use email address for the demo purposes here, um, and we'll move on from that. So e email address, enter an email address in case someone finds your item and wants to connect with you. Then we'll hit next, and now we have the option for the summary to turn on notif notify when found, just like we saw er earlier in the video. Uh, it will send you a notification when this item has been found through another Apple device that's searching for that AirTag and it's got your, your email address, and then it says this item has been lost, please email me. You can um, always come in here and turn off notify when found, um, but we've got this message and we've got the email set up. So we'll go ahead and activate this just by pressing the activate button in the top right, and we'll enter the lost mode. And just like that, we have lost mode enabled. So it's enabled now, we can come in here and see that lost mode has been enabled. We can tap on it. And once we tap on it, it displays the email we left and then the message that we left. And we can turn off lost mode when we found our item. But for now, this message has been sent to the AirTag. And I'm going to show you how you can scan it or how someone else can scan it to figure out uh, what email or phone number they should contact and what message has been left. So in the process of finding my keys here, it sent me a notification, Justin's keys, this AirTag was seen nearby because I've turned on lost mode and turned on notify when found. 
Apple device has found the AirTag and it sends a notification letting me know that it has been found nearby. Now the best part about lost mode is that AirTags have near field communication built in, which means there's a tiny chip in here that you can scan to read information on. All you have to do is just bring your iPhone close to it and it will scan. Just like that, I've scanned the tag website NFC tag. When you open that website NFC tag, once you scan the air tag just by putting it up close to the top of your iPhone, it brings up this page and it has a lot of information on it, including your serial number of the air tag and the owner's last four digits of their phone number. And then below it says this item has been lost. Please email me. And of course it has my email address that I typed in when I enabled lost mode. And then it describes a little bit about what an air tag is. Some people may not know. So an air, an air tag is used to keep track of everyday items like keys or bags. The serial number is registered to the owner of this air tag. If this air tag is not familiar to you, learn how to disable it and stop sharing your location. So it offers instructions to disable, but more importantly, it offers the email address to contact the owner of the AirTag. Now, if I were to put my phone number in, my phone number would have been displayed and they could have contacted me there. Um, but it's really neat that, you know, all the person has to do is find the AirTag and scan it with their iPhone and open up the, the tag there. And the best part about this is it works with Android phones too. You don't necessarily need to have an iPhone in order for this to work. So it's really neat that you can grab your Android phone. If the person does not have an iPhone, they can use NFC as long as the Android phone has near field communication built in, which most of them do. The iPhones have it now, Androids have it now. If you have a new phone in 2023, then you just scan the back of that code and um, it will pop up. So all you have to do, there you go, complete action. I can open it up in Chrome or Samsung internet and that same page will open up with the serial number and the phone number on the AirTag, I can zoom in here to hide some of that information. Um, but just by scanning the back of your AirTag onto the, onto the device, it pops open the uh, you know website link for you to be able to open up through Samsung internet or Google Chrome. We'll stick with the one we just opened up. But you know, this item has been lost um, and it displays the email address. So no matter whether you have an Android device or an iPhone, or whether the person that finds your AirTag has an iPhone or an Android, they're gonna be able to scan this when it's in lost mode and find your phone number and find your email address to get in contact with you to let you know where your keys are, where your baggage, your um, items that you lost that have your AirTag are connected to. And it's also good to know if, you know, if you're the person that finds some uh, bag or keys or item with AirTags, that you can also scan it and figure out who it belongs to to get it back to them properly. So that's a really neat feature of lost mode in the air tag. You can scan them to find the owner. Um, and it's really helpful and really cool that it's connected to the cloud in that perspective. This has been a complete beginner's guide of the Apple AirTag. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment below. Consider giving us a super thanks. That helps out the AppFind channel a lot. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This video is designed to give you a complete overhaul of the AirTag and help you become an expert. And we hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it and can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. 